Welcome back to Darkwood. I'm about to head back to the radio tower, but before that, we can make something new. Thanks to all the stuff we got from the junkyard and all the other nice stuff from around that area, we can now make a pump action shotgun. So it looks like there's three tiers of shotgun. Well, actually I guess four if you count the homemade shotgun that fires a single, well, two shots and then completely breaks. There's that one. And then there's the single shot shotgun, which is what I've been using. And then there's the double barrel shotgun. And then there's the pump action. They really give you a lot of shotguns. But this seems to be the best one. It's probably not going to do more damage. I'm not expecting it to aim any better, but what I am expecting is it should be able to hold multiple rounds at once, which should save me the inventory slot. Because if it holds a decent amount, then I'm not even going to need an inventory slot for shotgun shells. Yeah, it, it takes a lot. It takes three weapon parts. Keep in mind, each one costs 450 if you buy it from the traders. Um, one long barrel, one tape, and one... I think that's a tubular magazine or something at the bottom. It's really expensive. Here we go. Beautiful. I wish it looked different from the single shot shotgun, but it has literally the same image. Oh, it comes loaded too. That's really good, but also slightly annoying because I don't know how many shots it holds. But it must hold multiple. Like, I mean, more than a couple. It must. So, I'm going to leave my single shot shotgun. I'm also going to leave my shotgun shells behind. I doubt I'm going to go through an entire... Well, it's not really a magazine. What do you call it? Going through an entire whatever in a pump action shotgun because they're not all loaded into a magazine it's also not a clip I don't know what you'd say just go through all the shots I guess there's no way I'm going to go through all the shots in just one outing so it should be fine I repaired my shovel take my other weapons with me uh, no need to repair the axe got two pills so I can just sprint there um, still can't make light armor yeah I think we're good to go alright I will meet you over by the radio tower Okay, well, I got near the radio tower to the junkyard, and I realized, since I have the shovel, I might as well do some digging, right? I'm thinking I'll leave one use of my shovel unused, just in case there's something I can dig up in the radio tower. Just some generally nice stuff to sell. So, that means I have one more use of it before I need to save the final use. Is there another one down there? No, I did those. Um... I don't want to go, like, too far out of my way to dig them up. Because my main focus is the radio tower. Okay, yeah. So just one use, then. Okay, here we go. We're back to this area. Only spent a couple hours getting here. Oh. Can you come through the window? Oh, I don't think it can. Please don't hurt me while I'm coming through. Oof. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Christ, I'll just keep my axe out. Oh, they're everywhere. Maybe I just shouldn't touch them. If I fire a shot, though... They're going to wake up, and I'm probably going to have to fire a shot for a banshee. Oh, yep. Shit. Holy shit. Yeah, I gotta deal with them. Because that was a massacre. I mean, not a massacre, but like a... That was a mob of them. Jesus Christ. If I if that happens again and I don't have Scream available, which I don't, then... We're gonna have big problems. Jesus. Yeah, so the Scream wakes them up. Any noise, I guess. Gunshot, a Scream, whatever. Well, that should be all of them for the... Vicinity. Ooh. Drone from the radio tower number two. 
We haven't slept again. Another madman came here at night, the second one this month. He jumped over the fence and tried to ram the door with his head. I shot him in the ass with a tranquilizer. Today we're going to transport him outside. Since that accursed tree appeared in the village, an increasing number of savages roam around our hideouts. How do they know about us? They're psychos. They can barely talk. The villagers in our sector still have no clue what's going on. It's been ten years or so. But when they lose it, all they need to do is go into the woods, put some mud on their face, and they come sniffing. Stefan told me that in the neighboring sector, the wild ones appear mainly in the vicinity of the hideout located near the tunnel entrance. I don't think it's a coincidence. When they lose it, all they need to do is go into the woods, put some mud on their face, and they come out sniffing. And they just seem to cluster around the tunnel entrance. Not a coincidence. So it sounds like the, the savages, or the madmen, or whatever they want to call them, it sounds like they they know things. I mean, it could just be from hyper senses. Like maybe they just their senses become heightened and they can smell a lot better and things like that. But I don't I don't think that's it. I think it's more like the forest is communicating with them, giving them information. There's so many crows around here, too. Whoa, old cassette. Interesting, two shotgun shells, nice. What if this is... If this means something to somebody. If I can show them this item. Or maybe I can just play it in the cassette player back at home? I wonder. More babies. Whoa. Whoa, they made it through the fire? Holy crap. Okay, it just took them a little while to burn. God, look at how many bones there are on the ground. Holy crap. It's where they fed the babies and whatnot? Or where they just ate themselves? I don't know. Um, can I go further to the right in here? No, it looks like I have to go outside. Okay. I can search these corpses. There's so many of them. Oh, I turned that on. Well, let's use that opportunity to move this. Okay, shortcut unlocked. <laughs> There's a password for it? Will that actually take me inside? It's hard to tell. This looks like it's maybe all caved in. 
But maybe not. Maybe I could actually get inside. I think I remember the code to this door? 8684. I hope they haven't changed it. Wait, what? How did you remember that? How did I know that? Am I somehow related to... No, that's pictures, um... How do I read that note again? The note that I just read. Because it's not an actual item, right? It doesn't show up here. And it doesn't show up in the journal, right? No. Well, it said something about, like, Stefan, they captured someone, put him out here. I'm not that person, am I? The one they captured or something? Oh. There is an inside. I see. Is that just a visual artifact or is that... No, I think there's this radio equipment. I see some lights. Civilian radio. Overgrown with roots. It might be usable. Underground entrance. The entrance to the underground tunnels. Uh... What tunnels? The same underground tunnels as before? Yeah, all of it has, has power. Little tiny lights, you barely see them, but they're flashing. I don't know if I want to go down here. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't think it's going to like end the game or anything. Is time frozen? Yes, good. Journal from the radio tower. Last entry is from the 12th of April, 1987. And there's another military flashlight. Let's dump something. Flare? Eh, rag. I'll dump the flare too. And one scrap, that's not worth much. Two hundred or twenty-two. I'm not sure how to read that. Twenty-two fifteen hours. Um, two people came via the tunnel from the hideout near Village Three C. They were attacked. Twenty-three ten hours. The hideout near Village Three C has been compromised. At least twelve locals have entered the hideout cellar. Mostly mud-covered savages. Three among them were wearing unusual clothing, weird rags. We lost one man. The door to the tunnels has been shut. None of the locals managed to break through further. We're getting ready for evac. 0130 hours. Evac successful. The door was locked with a code. We're going home. Okay, there's a lot to break down here. So two people came via the tunnel from the hideout near village 3C. They were attacked. So remember the journal we read from the, uh, the hideout in this zone? The journal we read about how they, like, the locals had, or the savages had found out about them, and we need to evac. So that must be them evacing through the tunnels to come here. They came via the tunnel from the hideout, so they, w they went into the tunnel and came through this tunnel, and I guess popped up at the radio tower. I guess there's a tunnel that connects them. Yeah. So... Also says, yeah, 12 locals have entered the hideout's cellar. Mostly mud-covered savages. Uh, the door to the tunnels has been shut. And none of the savages managed to break through further. I'm not sure which side of the tunnels they're talking about. Maybe... Back at the hideout? 
Because, I mean, I came through there and it was... It wasn't... Sealed. And they also say here they evac successfully, and the door was locked with a code, we're going home. I'm not sure what door they're talking about, the radio tower door, that I just remembered the password to? Probably. So, if I... If this is a military thing, the military was posted here at this radio tower as well as all over the place, but this... Specifically, this radio tower was a military operation. And I know the code. And I said, my character said, I hope they haven't changed it. That means I, I'm ex-military? I was one of the people stationed here somewhere? That means either I was perhaps the person lost in the raid, maybe? At the, uh, the 3C village hideout? Maybe they thought I was lost, but I wasn't? Or perhaps I'm the deserter that they talked about back in... What feels like forever ago in the other zone, back in chapter one. I remember there was a deserter. I don't know, but either way, I'm, I'm military, and apparently I've been here before to the radio tower, if I know the password. It's interesting. If this links up to the main base, though, how's that possible? Because wouldn't I have found the tunnel here when I went through the tunnel before? Maybe it's caved in? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Whoops. Don't want to pick up the crap I just dumped for a good reason. The further path of the tunnel is blocked by enormous roots and rubble. Say, do we still have available to us that map? Oh, here it is. It's just called Note. <laughs> Very descriptive. Yeah, so this is what we found. Oh yeah, the map is outdated. Prepared around two years ago. Woods have changed considerably since then. Moreover, it's so ragged it's barely readable. However, I think I can make out the position of the cottage near the junkyard and the village with that tree. Yeah, so that's what marked those positions on the map. But anyway, that's 3C, which is apparently the village. I just wanted to look at the tunnels. So tunnels lead to 2C and all over the place. So the military just uses the tunnels to get around this area, I guess. Or they used it in the past before the roots took over even underground, I guess. That's my best guess, anyway. This may be a one-way road. Hmm. I don't think I want to go there yet, then. Did I seriously find the way to, like, end game already? It's through the radio tower? There's still so much to do, though. I still need to... Oh, I totally forgot to do the oxygen thing, to install the oxygen uh, compressor part back at the hideout. And there's these holes, and there's all this unexplored area, and the Great Lake. Uh, yeah, I'm not going there right now. Okay. Well. Let's see what's over here. I'm st oh, is this going to lead to the cottage, actually? If I keep going north? I wonder. Axe blade. It's good to sell. Whoa. Hi there. What? Uh. What the hell? What? Huh? 
Is it... Like... Is it crying? Is it mourning the baby? Oh my god. That's very unsettling. Um, where am I going? So I can go down there, apparently. But can I go further north? Like, there's a whole pathway over here? This, is, this place is so huge! <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Oh wait, that's one way. That's one way. Yeah, that just leads down back to the the way I got into the place. I'd have to go all the way around if I went through there. And it closed up behind me. Whoa. That looks like a door. Is that 21? I'm really bad at reading upside down, but I'm pretty sure that says 21. Close. Some power panel. Oh. Like... Cowbells? I think it's... I think it's a bunch of cowbells strung up. Oh, I can go under there. Interesting. Yeah, that's 21. I wonder if this... I wonder if I did this. Thinking of the door. This is so fascinating. So this is the base of the tower. More cowbells. What is that? Looks like a human body and there's like dead crows all around it, including one for its head. Maybe that's the the banshee creation ritual. Are these graves? God, I gotta go home soon, but I wanna finish looking at this place. This is so fascinating. Oh, I wanna explore this place. That might be the end of this little spot here, though. I think it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this may be me. This may be my doing. of the door. Um, oh wait, that's it, isn't it? I think we go home now. So it does not lead up to the cottage. Alright, let's head home. Wait, where am I? Oh, here we go. Back to the radio tower. Alright, there's a shortcut. Okay. Uh, it's still gonna be a mad dash home, but... We can do it. I'll meet you back there. And there's my good old friend, the dead body. Whew. About 15 minutes to spare. Oh, that didn't kill it. Oh, look at that. Their heads just, like, formed out of the ground.
Oh shit. Run through the flames. Oh wait, no, the only light's out here. Shit. Okay, lights are back. I think I already drank from the well. Yep. Okay. Whew. Sounds like something's sizzling. Sounds like someone's deep frying. Let's go, chameleon. We're fine. Perfectly fine. Looks like it lasts for maybe 10 seconds. <sighs> okay, uh, before I end it, I just want to do one thing because I forgot to do it at the beginning of the day. Let's go use the compressor parts, see if that just fixes it outright, see if it, you know, see what we can use it for. Uh, here it is. Yeah, should repair it. So yeah, do I need extra stuff to do anything with it? An oxygen tank. I could refill any empty oxygen tanks here. I don't have any empty oxygen tanks. Okay, so I do still need more to be able to use it. I need to find an empty oxygen tank. Like, these gas tanks won't do, right? I mean, they're already filled with gas. I don't think they're for oxygen. I have no way of emptying them. No. Okay, so I need to find something special. Alright, good to know. Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, um, I think I'm going to finally make my way down to the holes. <laughs>